so students in the uh, we have done with national flag okay in this chapter chapter number 13 our national symbols the national flag national anthem and national emblem okay so we are going to learn about national animal next is national animal so which is the national animal tell me so the royal bengal tiger is the national animal of our country so the royal bengal tiger is our national animal the tiger is a symbol of grace strength elegance and power you know that tigers look very fearless okay and they are of full of grace strength power okay so it is a symbol of that it is an endangered species so it is quite endangered species and it is being protected in the numerous national park and wildlife sanctuaries and you can see in the various national um, uh, parks also and wildlife sanctuaries also that this tiger bengal tigers are being protected several acts have been passed by the government and they are taking care of this royal bengal tiger because they are now eliminating day by day जो संख्या है वो कम होती जा रही है सो द गवर्नमेंट इज टेकिंग अ मेजर स्टेप टू प्रोटेक्ट देम नेक्स्ट इज द नेशनल बर्ड दैट इज द पीकॉक द आवर नेशनल बर्ड इज पीकॉक इट सिंबलाइजेस द क्वालिटी लाइक ब्यूटी ग्रेस एंड ब्राइट यू नो दैट पीकॉक लुक्स वेरी ब्यूटीफुल सो इट इज द सिंबल ऑफ ब्यूटी ग्रेस एंड ब्राइट इट इज अ कलरफुल ब्लू ग्रीन बर्ड विद अ पैन शेप्ड क्रेस्ट ऑफ फेदर्स एंड अ लॉन्ग स्लेंडर नेक crest of feathers means it or uh, is like top of feathers and a long cylinder neck jo neck hai wo cylinder ke shape mein hai and wo uh, bahut hi lamba hai the bird occupies a significant position in indian avian culture so it has a very important or prior role in the indian culture and art the male peacock is more colorful than the female one you know that peacock is a male p hand is the female or uh, you can see that the female look a little bit uh, beautiful and uh, graceful right but the peacock is a male and it is more colorful and beautiful than the female so the next is national flower national flower is the lotus the lotus is the national flower of india it is an aquatic plant With white floating leaves, aquatic plant means that pani mein paya ho jata hai. Pani mein hi aap lotus plant dekh sakte hain. With flight, with white floating leaves, iske jo leaves hain, wo pani ke sata pe rehte hain, right? It grows in the shallow, muddy water. Means, aapko pata hai, kamal mesa kichad mein hi khilta hai. So muddy water ka matlab yehi hai. It is considered to be a sacred flower and occupies unique position in the art and mythology of ancient India. So it is considered to be a sacred flower and very sacred, and so it is the national flower of our country. And it has a basic position in the art and the mythology of ancient India. And people worship also their god, and they offer the flower lotus there also. So it has a basic, basic uh, importance. it symbolizes divinity fertility wealth knowledge and enlightenment okay so this is the symbol of wealth fertility knowledge and enlightenment it also stands for the purity of heart and mind since it is untouched by impurities despite growing in mud so it also stands for the purity of heart heart because a lotus grows in a muddy water it is made of silt but it is it stands for the purity bahut hi pure usko mana jata hai and my sense it is untouched by impurities because it is not touched by the impurities despite growing in mud to kichad mein to khilta hai lekin us kichad se wo touch mein nahi rehta hai it is always floating above that so our national symbol represents the rich culture and tradition of our country so this is the significance of or the importance of the national symbols of our country because it represents the rich culture and tradition and it also helps to unite people together and also uh, praise people or encourage people to have the feeling of patriotism and nationalism 
and their love to their country. So this chapter is done. Thank you students.